As I was walking down the stairs, I noticed these glass scrapes in this bowl here. I knew they were vintage, and I noticed that little green tag, which says to me, Murano, and they're only $2. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's going to be a really fun weekend. It's Friday night and I'm going to pop over to Goodwill. Then tomorrow, I'm meeting Danny the Niche Lady for yard sales, and then I'm sure we'll do some thrifting afterwards. Let's go thrifting! It's so hot out here, I can't wait to get inside. Let's grab a cart. It's Friday night, and I'm at my favorite Goodwill. The trouble is that it's 6.30 and they close at seven. So that means I'm going to have to do a power shop. I'm going to see if I can find at least five great items that I can buy and sell on eBay in 30 minutes or less. I'm hurrying back to the hard goods section. Fingers crossed for some really good things. Let's go thrifting. The shelves aren't too stocked. I'm seeing some things that have been here a while. Oh, look at this charming tails. It's a little baby mouse in a mailbox for $1.99. I know Danny the niche lady picks these up all the time, so I'm gonna give it a go. This is nice too. It's a soapstone candle holder. I think I'll grab it and see if I can find the other one. I really like the design on this decanter. It's really pretty and I think it's vintage, but $13, mm, that's a bit much. It's rare to find candle holders in their original box. These are nice, they're um, Derby, but the resale value is just not there. A little bag of magnets, much smaller than the huge one I picked up the other week. How much is it? That's two ninety-nine. Just checking the clear glass and the crystal here. Checking for name brands, Aura Fours, Costa Boda. I found a couple of the Tiffany candle holders a couple of weeks ago. This is interesting. I like the design on it and the colors, but it's really super heavy. I really wouldn't want to ship that. These little mice are sweet, but his ear is chipped. Just going to put this red candle holder down with his friends here. There we go. is interesting it's like a little wheat sheaf and uh, gosh I'm not even I don't think that's lucite it's a little gorilla and his mama that's quite cheap I think made in China it's quite a nice Air Force plaque that's really heavy. I think it's chalkware or cement. <laughs> There's a couple more um, charming tails, but I think I'm going to stick with one. I'm just checking for a uh, signature on this candle holder, but I don't see anything. I'm going to leave it. Oops. 
It's a little nesting bunny made in China. Some little vintage cats. I'm going to leave these last pieces I mentioned just because the resale value isn't there and the profit is just too low. Not familiar with that mark. Almost looks like a, either an M or an elephant. Oh, this one says China on there. Oh, look, it's a patchwork giraffe. He's lovely. Definitely going to grab him. Oh, they marked uh, the price on in Sharpie just like they did those other ones I found. He's lovely though. I'm going to grab him. I wonder if there's another one. I'll have to keep my eyes open. Well, look at her. This is a like a vintage Indian doll in full costume. One ninety nine. Definitely get her. She's super. It's a little bag of bunnies. A bit off season, but I can definitely put them away for Easter. And they're only 35 cents on sale. What a steal. These are the White House Historical Association collectible Christmas ornaments. It looks like there's three of them. The first one is Warren G. Harding. This one is JFK. Thank you. They all come with a little booklet insert. Ooh, that one's great. Look at that. That's Christmas 2020. And then this last one is Harry Truman. Oh, the White House Christmas tree. Those are great. Definitely pick all three of these up. Two ninety nine each. Gonna have a quick look around too to see if there's any more. I think these will do really, really well on eBay closer to the holidays. These are Pier 1 Imports little dessert plates. Each one of them has a different Christmas tree on them. And this is a Zreik or Zreek um, Santa plate. And I know that I could resell this easily on eBay at Christmas time. You grab those Pier 1 plates. There's a red one, a pink one, a green one, and a blue one. And they're all different Christmas trees. They're lovely. You just check and look at these. No, I'm just going to stick with the ones I have. This is a wooden Bigfoot postcard. Bigfoot hunters are really popular at the moment. There's lots of TV shows. I'm going to grab it. Always take a look at boxes. This one's really light. There's nothing in it. Lots of frames and wall hangings. Not sure what that is. Always be on the lookout for vintage wooden serving pieces. 
This is a Digsmed from Denmark. And these sell for really good money on eBay. Take some cleaning up. These are really pretty. $3.99. No chips or cracks. There's a pair. Gonna take those. Oh, I quite like those little green dishes too. Might pop those in my cart and think about those. I wonder if they glow. to get my black light out. In the mug section. Oh, look at these birds. It's a parakeet. This one's a cockatoo. And there's a macaw. Let's look at this last one back here. That's, oh, I think that's an African gray. They seem to be transfers. Maybe somebody created them, but they're really great. I don't believe it. There's a matching coffee pot to those mugs I just found. It's amazing, the same birds on it. This one says made in Brazil. $5.99. I'm going to definitely grab that to go with the mugs. I really like these. They're Holland America line ceramic coasters in a really great blue. And uh oh, I'm out of time and out of camera battery. It's Sunday morning and I'm doing something different. I'm going yard sailing. I've got my lovely friend, Danny, the niche lady with me. We're gonna go hit, uh, I think she mapped out 12 yard sails. It's supposed to be 111 today. Let's see what we can do. Let's go thrifting! <laughs> Looks like they've got a little bit of everything. This looks like a fun book. Maui Heritage. That's nicely done. A little memorial. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Those exercise. Okay. Exercise? Yeah. Exercise? Yeah. Which one? They've got quite a lot of glasses and mugs. This one's from the Frontier Hotel here in Las Vegas. It's one of the older hotels, but unfortunately it's only worth about $8. Here's some Coca-Cola stuff. Ice bucket and some other collectibles, but the market's so flooded with Coke stuff it doesn't do very well for me. Uh, one of the vintage uh, wicker trivets. These sell quite well. Work best if you have a lot of several, but I have a few at home, so I'm going to add this one to it. So it's actually so hot that my phone overheated and stopped working, but at that garage sale, I got the wicker trivet and this Carol Shelby Cobra pin. We have found and estate sale, it's the second day, so hopefully we'll get some deals. Oh, look at 
at these doggies. Oh, 65 age, but look Ooh. at those. Oh, those are fantastic. Uh, are they bronze? I think I so. Those are great. We should find out if it's half price after a certain time. Yes, that's a great idea. What estate sale companies will do is on the last day, about noon, they'll discount everything by up to 50% just to sell it through and get rid of it. They've got so much stuff here in every room, flowers and baskets and decorative items. Let's take a walk through. I love this bowl. It's glass. It has a cloudy bottom, so not Murano. But it's lovely. Got some jewelry over here, some buckles. Also seeing this little bud vase. The glaze is amazing. Look at that. And one Otagiri Tom Taylor elephant shaker. I'm on the hunt for the pair. Yes, look at this. <laughs> we got a body and legs. Hi. Hello. These would actually be the perfect mannequins for listing clothes on eBay. Pretty cool mannequin. What's that? Oh. oh, you pulled her arm off. It's all right. Panic. Mac Ta da! <laughs> We just finished yard sailing. And like Danny says, what do you do after you've yard sailed all day? You go thrifting! You go thrifting! <laughs> I've never been to this one before. This is going to be a new to me Goodwill. It'll be nice to be in the air. We've been out and about all over Vegas this morning at the yard sales. Really hot, about 108. Let's go in and soak up some air. First in the door, I'm seeing this glass mannequin head. She's got a green tint. She's fabulous. In the cart. I'm still on the same shelf and I'm seeing all these Aurifors candle holders and the cutest little cat in glasses. I think he's a bank. Look at him. Okay, I'm going to have to pop these in Danny's car quickly. I'm just borrowing your car quickly. I have the red space in my car. 
It may not look it, but it's really busy in here. So I wanted to grab these before someone else got them. I was renting space in Danny's cart briefly because I saw all of these Orifors candle holders for $2.99. I don't know if you can... They're filthy, so I'm going to have to clean it off to show you the Orifors later. This is a really nice Christmassy piece. We don't have Joseph. We don't have baby Jesus. I love this blue glass Italian canister. I'm just gonna see if it lights up. I'm gonna get it anyway. No, it doesn't. I like this guitar sign, Andy's Guitar Lounge. That's really fun. I'm gonna grab that. This is interesting. It's really heavy glass tray. Pottery barn. It's a nice piece. Checking out the glass here. Bed bars. I'm seeing a tortoise. I know someone who would like that. And here she is. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, this is Mexican pottery. Look at those peppers on there. What'd you find? Mexican pepper carafe. That's really cute. I like that iridescentness. It's cute. I don't want to ship it though. Bunnies. <laughs> Mix and match, Danny. Mix and match. Okay, Danny is the macrame expert. Old or new? That's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. Got the wood beads, got it going on. That's what you want to find. How much is it? $7.99. I really like these heavy old canisters with the original corks. They look so nice in the kitchen. I'm going to grab these too. And here we have a Heineken bar mirror. This is fabulous and I'm pretty sure they sell for about $40 plus shipping on eBay. I'll take it. Let's have a quick flip through the rest of this art. Ooh, this is interesting. It's a little vintage embroidery pair, little girl and boy, those are fun, and a little Asian uh, needlepoint. This is a ceramic serving tray. I'm going to look this up, I'm not really familiar with that maker. I found some Vegas Nights ornaments. These are a big yes for Christmas time. As you can see, I ended up with a cart full of amazing things. So please stay tuned for my haul where I show you what I got, tell you what I paid, and what I plan to list it for on eBay. Full two cart day, woo! Nearly dumped the whole thing. That would have been great for YouTube. <laughs> but we cleaned up. <laughs> I think it's going to go on my wall because it looks like the horse that Rachel rides and it was only $4.99. So I think that was a pretty good uh, shopping trip there. How much did you spend, Tiffany? 
I spent $73. If you're not already, please go over and subscribe to Danny's channel. She's the niche lady. The link is in my description. There we go. Ta ta! Here on my table is everything I bought at Goodwill, the garage sales, and the second Goodwill this weekend. There's Bandit. First, I have this vintage wicker trivet. I paid 25 cents for it, and I will list it for $5. These actually sell better when you list them with a lot of similar trivets on eBay. So that's probably what I'll do. I also find, found this Shelby Cobra pewter pin. I paid 50 cents. And I shall list it for $15 on eBay. This is a Tom Taylor Otagiri edition single shaker. I shall sell it as a replacement in case somebody has broken one of theirs for $15. At the same sale, I found this really nice glazed bud vase really like the color. I like the way the glaze is matte and glossy in parts. It's almost a drip glaze. It's a very nice piece. I shall list it for $20. Next we have this Zeke, Zreek or Zreik plate. I paid $3.99 for it. And these sell quite high on eBay. I should probably wait until Christmas, but I expect to get $15 to $20 for this single plate. I also found this set of Pier 1 Imports Christmas tree dessert plates. Each one is different. There's a red one pink one, a green one, and a blue one. I paid $3.99 for the set. And there's actually a set listed on eBay for $34 at the moment. But I'm thinking I'm going to wait for Christmas. And that way I can ask a little bit of a higher price and make more of a profit. I found these White House Historical Association ornaments. There's three of them. I'm not going to get into the boxes again. I did that during the video. But I paid $2.99 each for them. And I should probably list the three of them for between $40 and $50 as a set. I found this set of four vintage mugs with the birds on them. They're inter-American made in Poland. There's four different birds and then there's the matching coffee pot repeating each of the birds on it. The mugs were 69 cents a piece. The coffee pot, I believe, was, yes, $5.99. And this set is already spoken for. Thought these were really interesting. It's a little vintage set of needlepoint. Little boy and a little girl. 
paid a dollar ninety nine each for them. I should probably ask twenty five to thirty for the pair. This is a little Italian canister. It's blue glass. Great for storage in the kitchen. It says made in Italy on the bottom. These go for about $15 on eBay. And these are a set of two. I believe they're recycled glass. They both have a sticker on the bottom. Uh, that says made in Spain. They have cork lids. They paid $3.99 for the, for the big one and $2.99 for the smaller one. I haven't been able to find um, this exact set on eBay, but I'm thinking they'd sell for about 25 to 30 for the pair. Next we have this really super original oil. The artist is W Black Jamaica and his pieces do really well. Uh, there's one on eBay, it's a bit bigger than this but I think it's listed for around 50 and there's a couple on Worth Point uh, upwards of 50. So this is a great artist to look out for, W. Black of Jamaica, very talented in oil painting, just a really lovely piece. I'm tempted to hang on to this for at least a little while because I just love it. I love the movement, I love the colour, I love the reflection of the lady in the water. This is fun. This is a Bigfoot postcard. Bigfoot has got his eye on this campsite where these campers are, look like they're cooking marshmallows of their fire. It's actually made of wood, wooden postcard uh, by Lantern Press, made in the USA. It was $1.49. I just think it's quite fun. I'd probably get I don't know, six, seven, eight dollars for it. This is an Asian needle work. It's a piece of material that's been framed. And I wasn't sure that I was going to pick it up until I looked at the back and saw that it was quite vintage. The wood has been cut to fit exactly in that frame and there's a sticker with Asian characters on it. it appears to be quite vintage and just the work on this material is amazing. The detail is just lovely. I paid $1.99 for it. I'm really not sure what I would list it for, maybe an auction. If anybody has an idea of what that would be worth, please drop me a comment below. Next we have a pair of these Miller Rogaska crystal candle holders. They're really pretty. It's almost a floral design on a long stem. They have their original tags. I paid $4 each and I shall list them for 30 to 35 for the pair. Next we have this Safari Patchwork Giraffe. I believe this came in a set of two. This is the baby and there was also the mama, but I couldn't find her at Goodwill. Maybe she'll show up in the future. But this guy was $5.99 and unfortunately they did that sharpie trick marking the price all over but this time I did pick up the piece and uh, I'm going to try my hand at removing that sharpie price I'm going to hold off enlisting him for just a while in the hopes that his mum 
will show up at Goodwill and I can snag her. This was a little set of bunnies, the three of them I paid 35 cents for on a grey tag half price sale. They're really sweet for Easter, just little decorative bunnies. I'm going to put them away for Easter and I shall probably ask $15 for the three of them. This is a really sweet little charming tails figurine. It's a mama mouse grabbing a baby mouse out of the mailbox. I paid $1.99 and these sell for about $12 to $15. These were really interesting to me. They're Holland America line ceramic coasters in a really pretty blue shade. There's two of this design and two of that design. Rotterdam, New York with a little girl looking at the ship. I paid $1.99 for them and I shall list them for $15 to $20. Here are the two bunches of Murano grapes I found at the estate sale. Unfortunately some of the grapes have come off uh, but they're very popular on eBay since they are Murano and they have their original tag which is right here as you can see I shall list them probably for $50 and uh, take offers this is a really nice piece I like this a lot this is I think it's teak and it's by a company called Digsmed of Denmark. It's a wooden serving tray. It's a bit grimy, needs some cleanup. That's easy to do. And I should be able to get about $20 for it on eBay. At the second Goodwill, I found this Pottery Barn antique mirrored tray. It's brand new with the tags. I don't think it was ever used. It's got the original sticker, 1950 on it. I paid, I paid up a bit. I paid $8 for it, but I shall probably list it on eBay for its original price of $19.50. It's a limited edition. They don't make it anymore. And I'll see what happens. Here we have another really nice Christmas dish. It's a little nut dish or a candy dish. It's got pine cones and holly leaves and berries on it. I paid $2.99 and I shall probably list it for about $20 to $25. I really love this pig. She's got huge eyelashes, big ears, and raised flowers. She's definitely vintage. She has a little bit of chipping on the slot at the top here. On the bottom, she's marked Italy. Missing her stopper. You can see where somebody taped over, probably because the stopper's been missing for a while. But I'm sure that will come off with some soap and water. And I shall probably list her oops, for $20. The same with this adorable little tabby cat with the orange glasses. He's so sweet. Here's a bank as well. Paid $2.99. He has his stopper, although it doesn't fit too well. But he's super. Again, probably $15. I have been looking for one of these glass heads for the longest time. The ones that are cobalt blue sell the best. 
they sell upwards of 80 90 100 dollars these clear ones also sell well for around 50 they're really quite heavy a lot of sellers use them to model hats really fun statement piece very mid-century modern I think I paid $5.99 for the head and I shall list it for $40 to $50. This was a fun sign, Andy's Guitar Lounge. I just liked the movement and the colours and the guitar. It's a metal sign. It's quite heavy. Personal creations possibly made for somebody called Andy. But I don't think that hurts the value. I paid $2.99 and I shall probably list it for $20. I really like this little Indian lady. She seems to be handmade, hand painted, very vintage. The detail on her costume is lovely. Uh, I think it's a sari. A sari is fringed all the way around. She's got little sandals and she's secured to the wood base with a metal staple. I paid $1.99 for her. I should probably list her for $25. Down here I have my Heineken mirror. Hello. <laughs> I paid. It's very heavy. Hold on. Oops. Five ninety nine for it. It says Brightone Mechanical Mirror Works, Madison, New York. In the back $5.99 and these are selling for about $40 on eBay and last but not least here I have my vintage macrame beaded plant holder I paid $7.99 and I should be able to get about $25 on eBay. I found seven of these crystal artichoke Orifors Costa Boda candle holders. I paid $2.99 a piece and they all either have an Orifor sticker like that one or they're etched on the bottom with the word Orifors. I don't know if you can see that. It's right above the purple there. Maybe if I put it over something darker. It's right. Right here, or force. Anyway, there are seven of those. Two ninety nine a piece. I should probably offer them in sets uh, right around fifteen dollars each. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could take a minute to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. That would mean the world to me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!